Good morning, everyone. It's me, Lex, and welcome to Daily Trading Notes. U.S. markets act out small gains on Friday, shaking off concerns over rising U.S.-China tensions and ongoing COVID stimulus negotiations. The Dow closed 46 points higher to close at 27,433, while the S&P 500 ended the session up 0.1% to 3,351. Those gains were enough to stretch winning streaks to six days. Meanwhile, Nasdaq lagged falling 0.9% to close at 11.010 and snapping a seven-session winning streak after President Trump issued executive orders to address the threat posed by Chinese apps TikTok and WeChat. As part of the order, any transaction with ByteDance and Tencent, the parent companies of TikTok and WeChat, respectively, will be barred in 45 days. In local markets, the PSAI may likely trade sideways with a downward bias as growth outlook dims. The GDP figure reported last week came out deeper than what most economists expected and now expects a deeper construction for the full year of 2020. Meanwhile, changes from the MSCI announcement may also weigh on the index this week as global fund managers rebalance their holdings. Second quarter corporate earnings results are expected to wrap up this week as most of the companies in the index reported weaker than expected results. Major support levels are seen at 5.7 and 5.4. In economic news, DBCC is reducing the budget allocated for infrastructure projects this year and 2021, despite the World Bank report showed that the Philippines' road, power, and water infrastructure remains inadequate. DBCC approved this year's infrastructure program at 785.5 billion pesos, or equivalent to 4.2% of the GDP. The infrastructure budget was tweaked for the third time from the initial program of 989 billion pesos as the government realigned funds for its pandemic response. That wraps up our daily trading notes. We'll see you again tomorrow. Stay safe.